Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 33 of the Herbs Sims in the City Game Boy Advance edition. Hello, hello, hello! And I feel as though we're winding down with the amount of times that I'm going to be able to say my whole Herbs intro here because... You guys, storyline-wise with the game, we are definitely coming to an end. Um, we're coming to a close here. We're going back in time. And we're gonna stop Daddy Big Bucks, and we're gonna save Minneapolis, alright? So, well, first of all, I have to say, I'm here in the steamboat, because off-camera... I know in the last episode, I tried to get that, um... Oh, where am I going? Oh my gosh, where am I going? <laughs> I tried to get that, um, final promotion in Mugu Monkey, and we almost had it, we almost had it. However, I actually did get it off-camera. I know, I was like, of course I'm gonna win this game, like, the one time that I play off-camera in between episodes. Um, but, look at that. Yeah, and the thing is, we finished the Richie goals, which is, like, the last one that we actually really care about doing, I guess, because that's our rival group. But we finished all of those goals, and so I'm just kind of excited about that. It's pretty cool. And I think when I did that, I got a point with the Richies, so I definitely have to finish my Streety goals. And we have a few more nerdy and artsy ones to focus on as well. And that's my concern. I, I don't remember with the Herbs game. I remember with Sims Bustin' Out, playing it as a kid on my Game Boy, and um... And, like, after you... Oh, see? See, see, see? Ewan. I knew it. Hold on, something's in my eye. Ewan is the, uh, is a contractor we have to talk to. Oh, dear goodness gracious. What's happening? Um, what I'm saying is, after the Sims bust an out, after you finished, like, that last, um, goal, the game ended, it went to credits, and then you couldn't really access the game anymore because whenever you would click on your saved game, it would just go to your last save before you finished the game. So I don't know if like after I finish the storyline game... Who peed over here? I hope I'm able to still play because I really want to work on my rep goals more. And I have that one that I have to annoy Daddy Big Bucks, but like I, I haven't been able to talk to Daddy Big Bucks yet. Do you see my dilemma? Do you see my dilemma? So that's why I'm kind of like, all right, I think we're gonna hesitantly begin the process of finishing this game and hoping that after we are done with the goals, we can still kind of hop on and work on our rep goals. That's what I'm trying to say. Long story short. <laughs> Long story short. Um, so, alright. Just getting all my health up. Although, I must say, I was really hoping to find 15 of those frogs, because that would be really cool. And I feel like we should be able to find petrified wood too. I feel like I've had it in the past, but I have to make a chess piece, and I do have a quite a bit of creativity, so I should be able to maybe be able to do that. But also, regarding these goals, we have to give Sue 10 nuclear fuel rods, and we already know our contractor is Ewan. And the thing is, I do have the fuel rods. I have 16 of them. So, yeah. I have them. Should we talk to you in a while we're here? Did he like just leave? Did he just leave me here? Well, that's very nice of him. Wow. That was not lucky. All right, that's okay because that gives us some more time to do a few things. Well, we can try to find Sue. We can try to find Miss Sue. Um, uh, should we give Luther the Richie trophy? 
I know Ross was trying to like not be nice to him to get that extra point. I'm already down to 59 with him, so that's pretty... That's pretty good. Because I do think I will get another rep point if I go down. Alright, I'm not gonna give him the trophy. I'm not gonna give it to him just yet. Um, alright, where am I going? Ah, I wanted to run, um, well, we can try to find Sue. I know Sue is sometimes hanging out over here. But I was kind of just hoping to go to the bayou really quickly, just to see if we can find, oh, I feel like I gotta keep 100 with my streeties. It's been a while since I've talked to Miss Crystal. Oh, okay. No rep points, that's fine. All right. I feel like I've definitely seen Petrified Wood like in here before. So that's why I'm looking here. Um, but if we can find one more of these frogs, that would be like so cool. <gasps> oh my gosh, no way. No way, no way, no way. I have 15 frogs. Oh, <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh, I've been trying to do this for so many episodes. And I think we're finally going to have all the frogs that we need of our dreams. All right, should we sell them? I think that's the what we have to do. Sell 15 giant bog frogs to the deputy. Hopefully she's offering a good price. You know? Because... Only 140. All right, that's fine. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Ready? Ooh, 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 ooh. <gasps> Yay, action complete. I don't know why, but it feels so, um, you feel so good finishing these rep group goals because I feel like they're a little bit difficult, some of them, you know, like getting the highest promotion in this game and this game, so. I feel like it's a big accomplishment to get one of their rep goals. Um, I do have some other trash. But yeah, I'm gonna keep my nuclear fuel rods. Give um, Sue. Which I guess we can. Oh! Look at that. She's right here. She's like, I knew you were there, Chris. I knew it. And I'm gonna grab all your trash now. Do you have 10 nuclear rods for me? Yes, here you go. Wow, thanks. These things are full of juice. Awesome. Are full of juice? They're full of juice? Okay. Okay, okay. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, oh wait, Darius. I feel like I need to stay at 100 with you too. Ah, there we go. Uh, should we try to get another promotion in Comic Explosion while like we're here? Because I really don't know, I mean, I'm gonna hope and say that I can play this game after the main storyline, you know what I mean? But, um, I don't really know, to be honest, so I just want to play Comic Explosion to see if we can get up to level 5 on that. But again, I think we're only on level 3. So, and I remember from last episode, we have to hit, um... We have to hit $400. So that's like four jokes, which seems easy. But it's really annoying. Might as well already give up, I feel like. Uh, that's a spirit, Chris. You, like, really cannot afford to, like, get hit with any. Oh, I need that. Shoot! Oh, that was horrible. 
That was horrible. Oh, we're gonna have three. Oh, that was better than what we did last time. Oh, we almost had it there. I feel like we could have had it if I didn't get hit that one time with like three in a row. That was pretty rough. That was pretty rough. All right, well, I guess we can go home and talk to Ewan. I just assume that he will be here. Also, does this person ever sell petrified wood? I think I already checked once before. I think it's like, looks like gray or something. I don't remember, but it's like very, you know, when it's there. All right, shall we talk to Mr. Ewan? Is he our contractor? Ooh, ooh, I got a package. Let me guess. It's a streety magazine. Yes, just what I wanted in life. Uh-oh, okay, here we go, ready? Our final goal that we have right now. We might get more. I'm not sure what's happening after this, but I think we're about to find our contractor. <gasps> Hi, Chris, I was just wondering what you were up to. Well, first, let me get up to 100 with him, because I like him. I like having friends. Oh no. Oh no! Okay. Ewan, I need those handy hands of yours. Sorry, I quit giving foot massages last year. Ew. It just wasn't profitable. No, I need you to help Supernova build a time machine. A what? Holy Millennium Jumpers. From bumper boats to time machines in under a year. I'm moving on up. So you'll do it? Of course, my friend, the jobs you've given me have raised my local profile. We'll be building it in the chopper garage. Meet us there. The world will not save itself, my friend. Do you have the necessary funds? Wait. I'm gonna say no just because I wanna... I wanna see my goals. Oh. You didn't give me a goal. Okay, yeah, I mean, I guess I have the money. Oh gosh. Awesome, I can get started building this thing right away. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. He said to meet us in the chopper garage. Meet who? Him and Dusty Hog? Where's my- I thought I was upstairs. <laughs> I'm like, where's my toilet? It's upstairs. He said meet us in the chopper garage. What are we going to be building in the chopper? Oh, the, 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 the time machine. This is very exciting. All right, I might as well heal on all the way up. Okay, Ewan, let me give you some privacy. Um, let me heal all the way up and then I guess the following day, or now today, we're we're, we're gonna go to the chopper garage and, and, and try to build this thing. Do you think Sue's gonna be there? With all her fuel rods? Let's make some breakfast. Breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. Okay. I think it will be open now, I would assume. Hi, Pritchard. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous for what's about to happen in my life here in The Sims. Hi, Dusty. Is there anything... Is there anything suspicious going on in this little chopper garage that I need to know about? Oh! Hello there. Do you have everything you need? We've already finished, so now it's up to you. Take the machine and activate it at the highest point in Minneapolis. Of course, before you hurl yourself back in time, there's one more thing you need to do. Plug it in? No, you've got to find out what date Daddy B actually traveled to. Ask around, maybe one of his henchmen knows. 
or one of the shadier characters in Minneapolis. Good luck. Oh. Did I just put that in my pocket? That is so funny. Oh my gosh. Find the correct date. Use the time machine from the highest point. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ewan, what is happening? Also, I hate this music. This music is giving me like anxiety right now. Sue, hi. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate that. Let me give you a hug. I appreciate you helping me create this time machine, even though I'm kind of terrified. And also, I don't know where to find... You think Luther knows? You think Luther knows? Maybe Luther? I'm still also trying to be mean to him. <laughs> um, I really don't know what he doesn't like, so I'm just kind of waiting for like mean ones. Um, all right. Well, he does not have an exclamation point, so he does not know what year. What year to travel back to? Uh oh. Detective Damian, can you help me, sir? Oh. He said, I do not care about rep groups. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so do we have to talk to somebody? Is it like old salty? I'm, I'm kind of thinking of like, oh! Are you kidding me? I was thinking Old Salty because when we did the whole like Pepper Pete thing with the ghost. Do you remember that? That was like back in time, but not really. No, it wasn't. I was just pretending to be Pepper Pete. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But Giuseppe, it's you? Giuseppe? I wonder why he would know. All right. Well, let's hey. let's talk to him. Uh, Giuseppe, you've worked for Daddy by Big Bucks before. Do you know where he went? What time he travels to? Hey now, worked for isn't exactly the phrase. Double-crossed is more like it. You didn't actually think I was running errands for that... him and that snake Berkeley Claw, did you? Well, yeah, Detective Dan and I busted you, didn't we? Ha ha ha, and how do you think you pulled it off so easily? Because I was working for Detective Dan. I'm a reformed criminal and a fighter for truth and justice now. Wow, and a fine actor too, you had me fooled. Thanks Chris. Now to answer your first question, yes, I was with Daddy B when he, when he stepped into his time machine. Just before he left, I heard him shout, 1870 or bust. 1870? No month or day? Okay. Nope, just set the dial to December 31st and you'll be okay. All you have to do is find Daddy B's claim flag and steal it or something. Anything to prevent him from claiming all this land for his own. Okay, sounds easy. Sounds that way, doesn't it? But stay alert anyway, Chris, and for the sake of our lovely town, I hope I see you again. My goodness, that was a little dramatic. That, that was a little, that was a little dramatic. That did not make me feel better. That really did not make me feel much better about this. Um, well, okay. I'm trying to like process what just happened. I mean, it kind of has to be on top of King Tower. But he did say something about, I kind of want to make sure I have like some room in my inventory. Do you know what I mean? Just in case like, he said something about taking a slip of paper. I don't even really know what that means. Uh, all right, let's decorate this little area up with some cute stuff that I don't really care about holding on to. Uh. Okay, never 
never mind. Um. All right, I just want to run to the magazine guy to sell that magazine. Just in case. I kinda wanna get a look at this time machine. A brilliant example of classical engineering, quantum calculation, and cozy ergonomics, the temporal flux Treader Mark II is the ideal craft for drifting up and down time's relentless stream. Just be careful where you use it. Well, yeah, we have to use it on the highest point in Minneapolis? Something tells me that's going to be... <gasps> a froggy. Um, the top of... Phoebe! I feel like it's been so long since we've talked. How are you doing? Let's give you a little smooch. Um... Okay. Well... Does everybody who I'm walking by right now, like, understand that I'm about to go travel in time? That seems like kind of a big deal. Um... I'm going to... Just heal myself up, just in case I don't want to pull another, uh, the time I went to Paradise Island with really bad health. And I couldn't do anything because I couldn't talk to anybody because I had to, like, sleep or something, so. Um, the time machine can wait until I'm rested. And then I, I'm guessing we just go upstairs to the roof. I'm guessing that's where we go. Also, I just remembered the fact that we have to make a strawberry tiramisu as one of those rep group goals. I don't know how to make that. So that's gonna be fun. Um... Ugh! I forget which one's the smoothie maker and which one is the, is the mixer. Okay. Looks like we're doing it. Looks like we're going to the roof. Alright. Oh dear. Oh, it's gonna happen. Oh, it's gonna happen. Okay. It's like 11.55. 3, 2, 1! It's like I'm counting down the new year. Oh my goodness. Do I have to turn it? Oh! Okay, no. I don't have to turn it. Um... How do I get in? <gasps> yes, it is this first one. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Is it working? <gasps> is this Minneapolis before it was Minneapolis? <gasps> oh my gosh. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Um... Oh! It's the ghost guy! <gasps> it's the... Oh my gosh! Oh, no way. I totally forgot about this. Oh my goodness. It's the ghost! We really went back in time! Do I know you? I don't know how to say this guy's name, so I feel kind of terrible. Um, Ephraim? Ephraim, is that you? Why, yes it is, stranger, but I don't seem to remember you. From the look of your garnish garb, I'd say you weren't from around the, these parts. Are you here on vacation? No, I'm here to stop a greedy capitalist's sneaky land grab. Ah, is that who that was? I believe I saw that particular fellow planting a flag over yonder. I reckoned he just was playing a round of golf. You mean this flag? Yes, that flag. So now you're telling me he was actually claiming this land for his own? Has he no tact? There's still time to stop him if we can get rid of this thing. Say no more, whimpering wayfarer. Ephraim shall save the day. Give the flag to me and I'll make sure it is never seen again. Thanks, Ephraim. You're a real hero. 
I shall guard it with my life until the danger has passed. The weight may drive me crazy, but it will have been for a good cause. Farewell. Oh my goodness gracious, what is happening? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why, hello, my ten, my ten thumbed nemesis. You're just in time to catch my special announcement to the good people of Minneapolis. That you've been beaten at your own game. Don't you wish? No, thanks to time travel technology, I was able to claim all the land in this area before anyone had settled on it. Now Minneapolis is mine, every last building. Do you have proof of that? Indeed I do. I have here in this envelope a 135 year old deed written out to me which, if I am not mistaken, claims me as the owner of Minneapolis proper. Perhaps you'd like me to read it to you. Go right ahead. Ahem, Rip Crumple. This deed hereby gives the LL Big Buck sole ownership over all land surrounded by, but not including to, the, the, gasp, oh no, what have you done? Something wrong? You little brat, I don't know what you did, but you won't get away with this. All I have to do is jump back in my time machine and... Uh oh. Brilliant work, Chris. Giuseppe told me everything, and now I've heard enough from Daddy B's mouth to put him away for a long time. <gasps> oh? Oh? This is so emotional! You guys, we're finishing the game! Um, Chris, you did it, you did it! By golly gosh, you beat that old man at his own game. I couldn't have done it without your help, or not as quickly anyway. I bet you're right, but none of that matters now because Minneapolis is a better place without that meddling money grubber. Will Detective Man throw him in jail? Not exactly, no, he'll be living out his days far from a jail cell on the little plot of land that is rightfully his. Wow, I almost feel bad for him. To have risen so high and fallen so far. What are you talking about? You're the top dog in town now. You're free to stroll around about the city as you please with no more interference. You can't feel bad about that, eh? No, I suppose you're right. I know I am, just don't get too big for your britches or Grandma Hattie and I might come after you. Thanks Harlan, I'm counting on you to keep me in line. Aw oh, shoot, you'll do just fine. As for me, I think I may take a few spins in that time machine of yours. I'd like to go back and give my younger self a bit of advice. Be careful Harlan, messing with time can be dangerous. Be careful, aw oh, you're no fun. Goodbye Chris, take care. Oh my goodness! Oh! <gasps> Look at Daddy Big Bugs. He's climbing a he's climbing a tree to get a coconut. What is that? Is that the alligator from the bayou? Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. That just happened. That just happened. Um. Okay. Well, I am not entirely sure what's gonna happen after this credits here. Are we gonna be able to still play? Cause I still wanna play. I still wanna, I still wanna, I still wanna do my rep group goals. Oh my god, that's so funny how the ghost guy 
we had actually met him like in real life. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna see what happens after this. I have a feeling it's gonna completely like, I don't know. Producer, oh my gosh. Well, I guess we could just kind of talk about that for a little while. Um, That was crazy. That was pretty crazy. Look at all the characters. Those are the artsies, the nerdies, the richies, and the streeties. Wait, where am I? I'm not in my, I'm not in my photo. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. I love seeing like all of them together, especially like at the end there, where they were all like waving bye to me. That is just like really cute. Also, this music is really funny. Um, well, okay, it seems like we kind of saved the day in Minneapolis. Seems like we stopped Daddy Big Bucks from his grand scheme that we've been fighting for 33 episodes now after we learned about all of it when we were up in King Tower in episode one from Chris, from, from Chris Thistle. It's so crazy to like think back to that. We've been playing this game for like two, um, probably almost three months now. And wow, you guys, this is so wild. All right, well, I am gonna just finish up here and see if anything happens because I'm gonna try to hit like, some buttons, maybe. No. This music is so funny. You hear like all the person's voices. Um. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank- Oh my god, look it! Oh, it's me! There's a statue of me! Is that- Is that me? That's me, right? Oh my goodness, people. Can you believe that? There's a statue dedicated to me! Also, I'm so relieved we can play this game. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Look at that. Look at that. Look at them apples. How about that? Wow, so if we go to the goals, we are completely finished with all of our goals. Oh my goodness. That is really so crazy. That is really, really very crazy. Um. Now, I'm kind of curious, can I go to my penthouse and can I call Daddy Big Bucks? Ewan, hi. What just happened? Not services. Still no answer. I have a feeling like he has to come out now, right? Or maybe is he like on that island? Is he like there? Wow, okay, well, um, I guess we will end this episode here because we kind of just finished the game. Hi Luther, how are you? How are you? Are you doing all right? How's Daddy Big Books doing on his little, on his little island? Um, wow, okay. Well, I was going to go to the bayou to see if I could find a, a piece of that petrified wood. But um, I guess we should kind of save that for the next episode. Because in the next episode, I guess we're going to we're gonna seriously try to finish up some of these goals here. And so I think that'll be fun. Um, so, wow. Okay. Well, thank you for watching episode 30. What is this? 33 of the herbs. Thank you so much for watching. Um... Yeah, so everything that comes after this episode is kind of just like extra little bits and pieces, but I hope you still watch. I hope it's still fun for you to watch, and um, we will get everything out of this game that we can, and then I think we will move on to another game. So this is so exciting. My goodness. Okay, well, I will see you in the next episode of The Herbs. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye! <laughs>